channel. So today I'm here with my Hellcat Red Eye at the Half Mile event at Gila Bend. I'm so, so excited because this is my first time here. As you guys know, I've been to the quarter mile event with the GTR, but this is my first time actually bringing the Hellcat Red Eye to any event, especially at this half mile, which is right over here. And it's looking like a good day because, I mean, it's Sunday. It was This event was two days, Saturday and Sunday, but today it looks like it's not that packed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go line up. I'm so, so excited because I'm sure this is going to be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get to it. Here goes. How my first pass goes. <laughs> I, have, I cannot deny that I'm a little bit nervous just because I've done a quarter mile but in the GPR and that's completely different. This is now 797 horsepower to the crank in a rear wheel drive car. And I have to say that it was freaking insane, amazing. Just feeling the horsepower and that car down the taxiway. It was <laughs> insane. It was everything that I imagined it would be. Now, the only thing is that after that third run, I did get an engine light. So I just got out and I'm letting the car rest. But I got cold P1217 and it's active exhaust Vav 1 performance. Now, I'm not sure. I started looking online, but it seems to be something with the exhaust. Maybe my one of my valves isn't opening, but everything that I'm seeing online is uh, cars that I've had that have aftermarket exhaust and they're getting that cold. So I'm not really sure. Let's see. I'm just letting it cool down, even though the temps were fine. It's 59 degrees outside, so it's not really hot at all. And I was monitoring everything, so I'm not really sure why I got that engine cold. Maybe because of the three 
runs back to back but still the car was running fine so let's see i'm just letting it rest for a while and then i'm going to go one more time and see if everything runs fine if not then i'll just go home but either way it was so much fun my best time was 157.8 which is insane imagine if i had a tire imagine i think I, i'm not i'm not even sure but i know it'll be a lot faster but i loved it so far i'm loving it I have to admit that I was a little bit nervous just because and I still am just because those tires I mean you're just it takes you to spin city and you really have to just learn the car regulate the pedal that's why I'm not launching because a I need to learn how to launch that car I've never done a burnout so I think I'm just going to learn that on my own and then <laughs> try it out I mean I have to know how to do that for the quarter mile but this way I just have to just learn the car I mean it is my first time so I mean you guys saw me <laughs> to go a little bit sideways but I just have to control it so I can't go a little bit crazy there's not that many cars I remember I came here last time it was yeah it was on a Sunday and it was packed with cars but not today there's not a line to run so basically how this works this is at an airport airstrip so that's an airstrip right there it's half a mile you run half a mile from the start all the way to the end but it's a mile long so you can have another half a mile after you finish after you reach the cone so you can then have enough uh braking or uh, braking zone but now i'm here because there's a gtr that's going against a 720 and i really want to see this race <laughs> Seven twenty caught up. This is where I currently am. I'm here with my friend as well with the Camaro SS. And I also went against that Viper, which let me show you guys. So he's pretty fast and he sounds amazing. It sounds loud. And this is this is goals right here. I would love to have a Viper one day. He also has a lime green Hellcat, which is <laughs> pretty good but this right here this car is not slow whatsoever we have a 392 i'm not sure if i've seen him run i mean obviously he's ran but i haven't seen him down the strip yet here we have some more gtrs that gtr with the turquoise uh, wheels i did go against him it was like a rocket we also have this other gtr which is very interesting it's pretty cool if you guys see there's like uh i don't know some vinyl work here in the back it's two dogs which is pretty cute because he used the two <laughs> little lights as the eyes let's see if i can uh, walk around and find some more cars because it is a little bit empty today so this event was two days saturday and sunday not bad because supposedly there was 80 cars on the roster yesterday and there's 40 cars today but either it doesn't seem that way or just a little bit less came but it's not packed i do remember the last time that i came here to spectate it was packed like I remember cars waiting there for a long, long time, but here, no. See where that bike is going, and now that CTSV, they're just lining up there, and then you just go quickly. So that's a good thing, because I know whenever I go to the quarter mile, I have to be waiting there what feels like ages or hours, but so far, so good. I'm really liking this half mile event. Check this Aventador out. He literally just got here and I thought that he wasn't going to race, but he is because he has a sticker in the front. This is going to be interesting. I really want to see what it makes here at the half mile. again after my three runs i let the car just relax for a little bit and hopefully everything goes well this time and i don't get another engine light even though it doesn't seem that's anything engine related but let's see I'm 
engine light. So we're good. Let's see what we made this time. So this time I did 156.2. So I mean, I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's give it again one more try. No engine light. So we're going to give it another go. So I think I'm done for the day. I did a total of nine runs, which is awesome. That's more than I ever get to do at the quarter mile. It was a great day because I guess Sunday was just a lot less cars than Saturday. So it was awesome and i only think i only recorded like about not all of them because i think something happened to the cameras that it didn't record some of the runs so either way i had tons of fun so now i think i'm just going to leave in a little bit and i'll see you guys once i get home back home today was such a great day i had a blast i enjoyed every single minute of it i have to say that i am 110 percent impressed with the hellcat red eye it's everything that i ever imagined and more i think it performed great my highest trap speed was 157.8 matter of fact i'll put all of my slips here with my trap speed but that was my best time the only thing was I mean the obvious of spinning <laughs> I knew that was coming. It was just a matter of fact of preparing myself mentally, how to control it. And I was just worried and nervous on whether am I going to be able to control the car? Or am I just going to go off track? Which I think I handled it pretty well, at least for my first time. I really just wanted to bring out the car today and see what it can do stop. Even with these tires that I know that they're just bad. I was just no grip, just spinning, spinning, spinning. <laughs> Now, I really do like this just because the half mile and the quarter events, they're completely different. So at the half mile, you have the option of either launching your car or just rolling into it just like I did. You don't have to worry about the tree. You don't have to worry about reaction time. It's just kind of like at your own pace whenever you're ready, then you just go. There's not like a competition. I mean, if you want to race someone, then you can, but you don't really have to. And whenever I go to the quarter mile events or even today, I'm just worried about my own time and improving within myself. Now, do I think the car has a 160? I think so if I would have done a burnout then I think I would have probably reached 160 but let's see I think the next event for the half mile is early next year but but I also do plan on taking this car out at the track completely sock and see what it can do I'm very very excited for that one but either way I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one